Kentucky gang said, why me? Here he goes, the lob to Dwight, and a beautiful, emphatic finish. And they have never led until right now. LeBron picks up that fourth foul. As it's blocked by AD. In tandem with AD. Caruso, reverse slam is good. There is your season high for AC. Down for three. His first three-point make of the ball game. Here is Alex all the way. That is sweet. He's unbelievable. There's the nickel. 50, 50 <laughs> for Anthony Davis. Uh, he's got 50 points in 37 minutes. His three is perfect. Yes, sir. L-B-J. The Lakers a season high 142. The purple and gold are 21 and three. And the best record in the NBA. Hello and welcome to Lake Show. I'm Mike Trudell, joined by Lakers insider Mike Bresnahan. And from The Athletic, it's Bill Oram. Uh, Bill, is there a joke you want to just get out of the way right now? Or do you want to, should we mix those I in? Mean, I, was, I mean, now, now there's pressure, but I was just going to say, <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable up here being the only person not named Mike. Okay, all right. Yeah. Let's just start. start. Though, yeah, that, that, you guys want to call me Mike anyway? <laughs> just, well, just for continuity's sake? Let's, let's think about that, Brez. Yeah, um, yeah. I was going to call you Brez, and I mean, do you want to call me True? Or would that make, and then not have any Mike? And then you, you can be Mike. Okay. Brez, yeah, Mike, you. and True. Uh, not sure if you guys heard, but Anthony Davis had a little 50 piece yeah. last night on 29 shots from the field without a three pointer in the Lakers win against Minnesota. Hmm. Here was his reaction. Fifty burger, first one, burger. first one in Staples. Most importantly, we got the win. Fifty burger. I think it's because my Packers won today, and I wore Packer gear, so I think that's why. It's a good day to be a Packer. Go Bears. <laughs> Yeah, I knew Brez was going to get distracted by the Packers comment yeah, there, uh, being wow. that AD is from Chicago. So so confused. I, I've actually not asked him about it. I don't know if it's a, like his dad loved the. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out at some point. Got to dive but, into that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some tweets about AD's performance on Sunday. I've been told that this is Gator proofed. Uh, this screen. <laughs> so all right, this is a nice little little photo here there you go. from the Lakers. That yes, yeah, see there, 50 point games this okay. decade. Kobe had a lot of them, 25. Yeah. Uh, and then LeBron has the one. Okay, let's go to another Lakers tweet. LeBron and AD, first pair of Lakers teammates to combine for 70-plus in consecutive games since Kobe and Shaq. A lot of scrambling to look up numbers and stats and records last night. That's what happens when you score 50. And, uh, and your team wins a lot of games, 21-3, and three, Bill. It's been that way all year. I mean, like we've, yeah. every game, it seems like there's another record. We have to go diving into the history books to try to find any corresponding um, artifact. 50 burger. Well, let's see what Big Game had to say. We're witnessing something great. Facts uh, there. So it started as Defensive Player of the Year, and yeah. now all of a sudden we see, okay, okay, yeah. hold on. Here comes the full 80 offense, yes. and it is good. Well, it's funny. Uh, ESPN had their straw poll of MVP candidates last week, and Anthony Davis wasn't in the top five. And it's amazing how much that has changed already, where it's like it's, it would, seems crazy to have a conversation about MVPs without Anthony Davis being part of it. No question about it, Bill. All right. How about LeBron? Nice little, nice little photo here. So the thing that they do now after games is essentially one of, if one of them will do TV, the other will do radio, mm -hmm. and then we'll wait for the other. And it's, it's just another little moment of connectivity between these two that is just obvious, whether you're watching them on the court, in the locker room, on the road, uh, Bill. It's just, it, these guys are very clearly working together on and off the court. Yeah, I've noticed that too, but it's, it, there, there are these little acknowledgments that this is a partnership. There is not a, there is not a, you know, a, a leader and then a subordinate. This is absolutely um, you know these these are this is a two-headed monster a two-pronged thing oh, by the way a scrambling for more records uh, Mike leads the league in LeBron walk-off interviews so congrats on that yeah well that's true that's something yeah. for you ESPN catching up uh, Doris uh -oh. Burke has had a couple <laughs> uh -oh. this year but uh, yeah right, keep, keep at, at bay. I'm, I'm working on it this. all right Troy Daniels was raining today uh, the raincoat got pulled out I like that it's a nice jacket and of course a little comment on that boy and Anthony Davis having 50 oh wait this was supposed to work on the picture. Yes, I had it that time. You're going to kill me for that one. We had to get the Jays in there. All right. We had to get the Jays in there. All right. Let's go to the uh, the last one from David Miniman. Anthony Davis, the NBA Player of the Week for the Western Conference. 35 points, 
Look at that field goal percentage, guys. Crazy. 63.3 percent. You see the rebounds. He still did everything else. Is the point the Lakers go 4-0 with victories, including that terrific road trip that they had. Yeah, a, big, a no brainer. I mean, who else could have been? Yeah, I mean, the, with the way he played and, and and the way they won games on that road trip. I mean, that to me was the most impressive thing. You go in. Those are three road games. That they could have lost any one of them, and you wouldn't have begrudged them for it. Denver is obviously a very difficult place to play. Utah, even when it's not on the second half of back-to-back. -back. And then Portland, a place the Lakers historically know is, has been impossible for them to win. And to win those games as decisively as they did, and obviously with the performances that they got from AD and, and, and the other guy whose name slips my mind, um, yeah. it was, I mean, very Russo. deserved for Anthony Davis. That's the one <laughs> uh, Anthony, Anthony Davis very well deserved. All right, after the game, I asked LeBron how his mindset shifts, if at all, when a teammate is going off like AD was. Another walk-off. No, I just keep feeding him. I mean, he's fishing all night. Getting the ball exactly where he wanted it, either in the mid post, low post, perimeter. I mean, he can do it all. So it's our job to continue to get him the ball. You know, I think you know the best thing about what it is today is you know he has an opportunity to you know, just be great every night, and uh, you know no matter if he's making shots or not, you know just his presence alone and, and, and us as a teammate just continue to make him comfortable. So um, you know he's I mean, he's great. I mean, it's nothing more that you can say. He's an animal, man. I mean, we keep talking about how good he is, and he just keeps improving and, I mean, getting better and better and looking better and better. So uh, it's funny because I was joking with the, the two-way guys and uh, and Tay earlier in the game. I was like, all right, just just watch. Like, look, don't look at the scores. Don't look at the stats. Midway through the third, just look up. We'll have 30. Sure enough, about seven minutes left in the third, he had 30 ball, and then obviously kept that going, finished with 50. So what he's doing is is – Incredible, you know, to be a, be able to see that firsthand is, is special. Uh, very special um, to do something like that in front of this, these great fans um, with a historical franchise um, and my teammates, especially the way we've been playing. Um, it was nothing but, you know, amazing. Some greats who came through here and to be in a in a class, you know, with guys like that, uh, especially so early in my career, um, my first year here, um, it's, it's humbling. Um, and I'm definitely excited to be in that class. All right, as you saw from some of those clips there, 17 of 80's 20 field goals came in the paint. Uh, Bill, that's a Shaq-type mm -hmm. statistic. You just don't see that too much in the modern NBA to get to 50 points without threes, and, and he just made it look so easy. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, we know that this is his game, right, that he can, that he can, that he can, he can stretch the floor also. He can, he can knock down the threes. Had some big games where the three-pointer has been a big part of his arsenal. But the way he was playing last night, the way he was going at Carl Anthony Towns, the difficulty of the shots he was making, getting to the line, um, old school is the right way of looking at it. Um, but, I mean, obviously different from Shaq. I mean, like, you know, this is, it's not a power game. I mean, it, it can be a power game, but there is so much skill around the basket and finishing off the backboard, um, the floater you see there. I mean, as, as big men go, to be as, to be as, to make it look as delicate as he sometimes does, to have the skill to, and the finesse that he plays mm -hmm. with is really true. I mean, like, I do think that we are witnesses to, to greatness, obviously, in a way that, you know, obviously Lakers fans have been spoiled by over over history, but it's a totally different kind of player than they've ever gotten to enjoy before. Yeah, the fact he did not make a three and still got the 50, that, that's amazing right there. And you're right, Shaq was definitely like, a, he would pound it mm -hmm. in, the, in the post and just brute force, roll over you, get fouled, maybe it was called, maybe it wasn't. Um, not much skill as, as far as like outside shot for, for Shaq. But this guy- How many threes it, did you see Shaq make over the years? Yeah, exactly. Um, Unless it was like a last, a last second beat the clock type of thing. I'm not sure he made more than one or two. But, I mean, AD is just revolutionizing um, both on offense and defense. Yeah. It's fun to watch him play. Someone said to me today, he reminds me of Dirk Nowitzki. Yeah, he can make jumpers like Dirk, but he is a much better defender than Dirk ever was. Yeah, we're, li we're in an era of the skilled big man, right? And we saw two of them last night with Carl Anthony Towns. But and, and you'd have a hard time right now, based on what we've seen over the last couple of weeks, particularly over the road trip in this, in this span where he was player of the week, where, where you have a hard time convincing me he's not the best among them right now. Time for our Twitter poll question of the day. And it'll be AD related. What will Anthony Davis' season high in points be? You see the numbers there. One, two, three, or four. And now keep in mind, career high is 59. So, you know, Bill and Mike will think about that and we'll see. Vote on our account. We'll have the results later in the show. How about that? I know what I'd say. Do you want to say it now, or do you want to, do you want to wait? If, if, I was going to ask you, so if you want to just go ahead. What do you say? I mean, if I was a betting man, I would, I would, I would hate to be locked in anywhere between 50 and 60. I'm going, I'm going over. 
I'm going over, I'm 60. Going over 60. Really? With the way LeBron is passing the ball, the way they feed Anthony Davis when he gets going, the variety of, of the ways he can get his shots going. If the game had dictated last night that he needed to shoot the three a little bit more and he had gone to that and it was falling for him, I mean, that could have easily been a 60-point game where you look at the, with the, the efficiency he was, he was playing with. I just, I just, I just think it would be crazy to box yourself in at anything less than 60. You know, I'd actually go 51 to 55 only because he seemed kind of like a reluctant customer. I mean, uh, he, he mentioned that his teammates, especially the injured guys, you know, DeMarcus and, and Avery Bradley and Rondo were kind of like, go for it, go for 50, go for it. So he likes to play the right way, and he ended up almost accidentally at 50. If not for the urging, maybe he would have been stopped at 40-ish. So I'll go 51 to 55. Why do you hate Anthony Davis? Love Anthony Davis. Bill also called you crazy in, in the way that he led into your answer, right? Kind of so did. You'd be crazy if you didn't. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. actually going to go with Bill on this one, though, because I think he'll have a game where he is shooting more and hitting more threes, mm -hmm. which, okay. is, which was kind of a thing earlier. Add to that some of the free throws, he's always going to score easily in the paint, and now he's kind of locked into this aggressive mode, and that, to me, has been the biggest difference just in the Lakers, period, uh, over this last week or so. All I right. don't think you're crazy. <laughs> Thanks for the Good. clarification. Yeah, that was that's crazy important smart. for everybody out there to know. <laughs> All right, our Lake Show uh, gift of the day, LeBron. Still say Jeff. With the drive yeah. and slam on with you, Bill. Gorgie Jang. And Jay, Jay's a good defender. Georgie. But he, uh, <laughs> he just, uh, yeah, yeah, there's no stopping caught him. that. He caught that Gay. one. You know, I, he, so you can hear Covington. Well, here, uh, why don't, why don't we, we'll get to this in a little bit. But there's, LeBron's got the step back three, mm -hmm. right? And so I think Gorgie was... Thinking oh. that was coming, and then he was gone. Yeah, I mean, you, you can typically you can typically call it like three or four dribbles before the step back. Oh, like LeBron's shooting this. This is going out. Yeah. This is, you know, he does the he stare, does a little thing where he stares at the ball, and LeBron knows this. LeBron knows that they know the scouting report on him, and he just he just killed it. And he does though still like catching a body once in a while. Like LeBron posted about this on his Instagram story, and he put this video up responding to a fan. <laughs> Thought the step back was coming. LeBron replied, "Nope." Yeah. Uh, I think Jane knows it now too. I think he's aware of that. So when they play again, but, when they play again, LeBron's gonna like drill. He's drill, gonna go like, drill the step eight back for on nine him. from threes, right? Yeah, and he and of course he did get Covington with the step back. In the he court. did. Another good defender. The, yeah, I mean, so AD as AD goes off for 50, LeBron very quiet. For his with five three which is like that's the kind of the way it's been this season where you see one of them one of them kind of steals the spotlight and the other one slides in with a 20, 28 13 and and seven game and it's it's been let, let's go to bump <laughs> <laughs> thank you bill uh, coming up on lake show ad Giannis, and luka Doncic are all playing at an elite level this season but who is the best of the group we'll discuss that ahead. he's a guest and